job all started. Tell me how it started. Well, Holly would know more about that. A friend of hers started the whole first day. Chris Simons, and this is Holly Turvey. How did yeah. you start, Holly? Well, Chris decided that we were all going to get together and have a little get together for uh, Friday the 13th. And how so long we, ago? Oh, it's 1981. It was. I bought my first bike. 1981. It was uh, late in the year and nobody had been out riding because the weather was cold and nobody had been down to the bar and no, nobody had been in the shop and I just hadn't seen anybody around for quite a while so I just picked up the telephone and started phoning every biker I knew in the whole area and, and told them to meet me down at the uh, commercial hotel on uh, Friday night and we were going to have a party. Well, November uh, 81, I was there. Best of my knowledge, it was uh, two bikes in front of the bar and a handful of people inside and, it, and the next time it grew the next time it grew and we're at where it is now there was somewhere between 15, 16 and 25, 26 that's what I remember but uh, we just pulled some tables together along the one wall and uh, commenced drinking and having a good time We all parked up on, on uh, the street up by the zoo and, and partied on and decided to do it every Friday the 13th because it was such a great time. You know, it wasn't any different than any other night that we uh, did the same sort of thing except for it just happened to be a Friday the 13th. Basically it was word of mouth and uh, well, maybe it was the number on the calendar, uh, 13. Everybody maybe was intrigued by that. And so they just started coming. At the end of the night, in our drunken stupor, we had so much fun that we said, well, let's do this the next 13th. And so it just grew from there. We uh, just gathered up more people on the next 13th. And the one after that, we advertised a bit in the Bikers Right newsletter. and. Uh, we brought in 65 people or so, and then we brought in a couple hundred people, and then we started getting, it was almost like competition, see how many bikes we could get parked on Main Street. And we'd, we'd go along and count them and say, oh, we got like 500 bikes out there now, and then the next time around, we'd have 800 bikes, and then we got heavy into promoting it and running bike shows and putting vans in the park and doing all sorts of stuff like that. And, I don't get too excited before the event, but then usually by the morning I, I get a little more wound up. I see it, you know, because I always think, well, what happened? What would happen if nobody came? And you know, you look around and say, well, there's not a lot of people around, and it's pretty quiet yet, and maybe maybe it's dying a bit, and then you know, people start pouring in, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and you know, it's it's just a thrill to, to watch. I, that's what I like the most is watch it start from nothing in the morning to the town being completely full and then disappearing overnight so when you come into town the next morning it's empty again. That's, that's the thing that I think is neat.